Well, hello and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how I consume podcasts and take notes on the go using Siri shortcuts. So my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos about the workflows, practices and mindsets of becoming a daily creator on the internet. So as I said, this video is going to be about how I take notes from podcasts and it's going to be part of a series that I'm doing on um, how I take notes in different forms um, from different kinds of mediums. So articles, books, podcasts, videos, all of that kind of thing. So today we're going to talk in particular about podcasts, but look out in the coming weeks for all of those other videos. So I uh, have a problem. It's not really a problem. I actually do love podcasts. My problem is I hate taking notes from podcasts. I find it the probably out of all of the mediums, everything that I consume content from, it is the thing that is the most friction for me. Like when you're listening to a podcast, you're usually out doing something. You're not in front of your computer. I'm out walking, um, doing the dishes. I don't know. I'm doing all sorts of other things. And so it's really hard, like as you're listening or like, you know, let's say I'm out for a morning walk. I'm listening to a podcast. I'm like, I've got to stop. I've got to like write something. I've got to know like, oh, what time stamp was that? And it's just annoying. So I've looked at heaps of ways to do this over the years. I did look at the app Air. I know there's a lot of kind of hype around it. I just didn't really love it. And to be honest, I really love using Castro, which is the podcast app that I use. It really fits in with my system. Like I can see all of my incoming episodes. I can triage those into my up next piles. And so it just works really well for me. And I didn't want to swap. I've been looking for like the perfect system and I think I might have found it. Now, huge caveat, this is not for you. If you are an Android user, please do not comment below asking me how this works on an Android. I don't know. All right, so what you are going to need is you're going to need the app Castro for your podcast. If you don't use that app, uh, there's probably a lot of different ways it, um, or other apps that you can use in the Siri shortcut. So I think this can still work, but I'm going to show you how I do it with Castro. You're going to need the Drafts app, which is a note-taking app. If you don't use Drafts, you could also use Apple Notes. Yeah, you can make it happen with other apps, um, but uh, th that's how I'm going to show you. And I'm going to leave a link that you can um, use my Siri shortcut and just download it onto your phone. So let's dive in and take a look how I made this work. Okay, so let me show you how insanely easy this is to take notes from the podcast you're listening to. So in Castro, you are going to, what you're going to do is uh, in Castro, you have the inbox. So this is like all of the podcasts that are incoming and then you choose ones that you want to move into your up next queue. Now, the one that is playing is always the one at the top. And so as it's playing, for instance, this one here that I've been listening to. As it's playing, what you're going to do is that's when you're going to take the note, right? So we're walking along. We think, oh, this is a great place um, to, oh, you know, I want to take a note on that. So you'd have this playing. And then you would go to how you uh, trigger this. And I've got a little icon. It stops the playback. And I can dictate whatever text I want. And then I can also write down a note. So this really helps like if I'm in a noisy place or I don't really want to say my note. Uh, but, you know, if other people are around, I can also type the text and then I can press done. That saves the note and you can I, then I totally be... starts playing again and so then you'll see in drafts our note is there ready for us now if you do want to set that up let's go back into shortcuts you just come to these three dots here and you go add to home screen and that will then you can add a little icon and you can create a note. Now you can also have a widget if you want. I just don't use them. Okay, so this is my Siri shortcut that I've set up and it's just called make a note. Now, if you are going to set this up from scratch, you'll need to just be in your shortcuts um, app and just press the plus button and you'll, you can just click here to add actions. I'm just going to show you 
all the actions and then you can kind of follow along. So the first one that you're going to need is this one that says get now playing episode and it's a Castro shortcut and basically all it does is it brings in the episode that is playing at the moment. What will happen is I've just added a, a dictate text um, action and so um, basically I've set it up so that it will come up and it will say you know kind of like listen for what you want to um, you're saying it will dictate it and then you will uh, click on the um, on the record button to make it stop listening you can have a whole lot of different um, ways to stop it listening as well I just find that sometimes I'll need like a moment to think and so if it's after the pause I'm like oh wait I, I wanted to keep going so um, so I just have it on tap then what I do is I have this scripting um, uh, action which asks for the text that I want to know okay so you just add this scripting in that asks for text okay and this is basically you it's like it's the question that you ask yourself. What do you want to note? Then what will happen is it compiles it into a text. And so basically we take the timestamp URL from Castro. Um, so it'll basically have the URL plus the timestamp. And then it will take both inputs. So it will take the scripting one. Um, so if we wrote something and it will take the dictate text. All right. And it'll just have both of those. If you don't put anything into one, it, it's blank. Then what happens is it creates a draft in the inbox. So it'll take the text that we've just compiled and it will put it into the, the actual draft. So then I also take the episode and I put it in as a tag. And so that way I don't have to have the episode in the actual text. I can have it as a tag. So this is a podcast that I've been listening to um, and you'll see all of the individual notes that I've taken. Now some I've like typed in, some I've spoken um, and I've been listening to this podcast over the last three days. It's hugely dense. I really, um, uh, I, I really recommend it. What I don't want to do is go through every note and then have to like uh, put that into my note taking app. So drafts is kind of for me like a transient app where I make a lot of things happen. So let me show you the next um, shortcut that I created to actually compile all of these into one note that I can just copy and paste. So once I've finished the podcast, I just come to my home screen and I press compile podcast. It basically does the same thing. It gets the get now playing episode. So you do have to still have this uh, episode pl not playing but sitting at the top of your list so if I look at my queued list okay in the Castro it has to be sitting at the top the one playing right now so it's got this little green icon that you can see that's the one playing so basically what I do is like right at the end uh, because this is such a simple process right at the end um, just before you know as the hosts are kind of saying bye great to see you blah 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 I'll actually just stop the podcast and I will um, I'll, I'll make this happen so uh, what happens is we use a text block to get the episode title that's going to give us the title um, so that we can put that in the draft so that we can know what it is then we're going to search for drafts and we're going to search for the episode URL because in each of our drafts, you can see that we have the episode URL with the timestamp. All right. So this kind of compiles, it'll search for everything. It then copies all of the content into the clipboard and it creates a draft in inbox that looks like this, the show name, the episode title, the author, and then the clipboard. I'll show you what this looks like. I basically go compile podcast. It searches for everything. It says I found 16 drafts. I press done. And it will show me the draft that it created. And so I just go done here. And then if we go back into drafts, all of those are now in here. And so then I flick over in onto my uh, laptop and I copy and paste that into my notes. So um, let's jump on over there and I'll show you kind of like how I finish off this process. Okay, so once we have um, listened to our podcast, we've compiled all of our notes, I usually kind of head on over here. And, uh, 
sometime during that day or in the next couple of days, I'll come over here and I'll grab this note. And I literally just come in here and I will grab all of these. So I don't actually grab the title because usually I have the title already in, um, like I've already clipped it. I just grab it. I'll find it. Um, so, and literally you can use any note taking app, right? So if you're using Notion, you would just put this into your Notion page. If you're using Rome, this is how I do it in Rome. Um, whatever you're using, because it's just text now, you can copy it anywhere really. So I just find the podcast, this one. I open up my literature notes and I basically just paste it in. And so what you can see is that now I've got um, I've got the exact timestamp of each of these notes and I've got a whole heap of notes that I can then go through and, um, and process. I can actually just click on this um, and it comes up at this page at the exact time. I can just start playing just to get some context. That's really important for me like because sometimes I'll take weirdo notes, especially like with, with dictation, like sometimes it's like, sorry, what was I saying? Um, and, uh, and so I'll just, that's literally how I do it. It's so, so easy. And I've been loving listening to podcasts as a result. Um, and so that is my process for taking notes from podcasts. Now there's a few different ways that I bring up that Siri shortcut. So you saw me kind of, uh, tapping on the home screen before. I also am able to, while I'm listening, just tap twice on the back of my phone and that will bring up the shortcut. Um, I'll leave a link down below for how to kind of like set that up in shortcuts. Um, but also you can just say, Hey Siri, make a note. And, um, Oh geez, now it came up. And that's a really good way um, when you're uh, when you're out and about. I find using Siri is really easy, or the double tap, um, or if I'm just kind of around, or um, like around the house or something, I can I can tap on the screen. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be putting videos like this out every week for you. I hope you really found this helpful, and that you start listening and taking notes from more podcasts.